In previous chapters, we discovered the magic of golden triangles, as their sides follow the golden proportion phi. We saw that one triangle is filled with the numen, and vice versa. And that with those triangles, we can build decagons, pentagons, pentagrams, darts, kites, rhombuses, and Roger Spendrel's figures, discovered in 1974, with which we can build tiles that fill surfaces completely. We also discovered golden spirals and the golden rectangle. And they're all related to the magic of number five. If we take a golden rectangle and fold the side that measures five onto the side that measures one, We end up with a segment with a long side and a short side. If we multiply the short side's length by phi, we obtain the length of the long side. And if we multiply the length of the long side by phi, the length of the total segment is obtained. The segments that follow this proportion are called golden segments. The first one to write about the golden segment was the Greek mathematician Euclides. In his book, The Elements, Chapter 6. And centuries later, astonished by Phi's magic, Luca Pacioli named this proportion as Divine Proportion. In his book, Divina Proporzione, in 1509. Now, let's see some curiosities about the golden proportion or divine proportion. If we raise three segments in the edges of the short and long sides of the golden segment and let two of them fall one onto the other, they fall right in the middle. Another curiosity, if we draw an equilateral triangle inside a circumference, the distance between the middle points and the distance from the middle points to the circumference follow the golden or divine proportion.